Emerging from the depths of time, dispelling darkness with a red dress. A magical light shines on the visage, adorned with a faint smile. This mesmerizing image has left numerous spectators spellbound. When it was first exhibited in the 1980s, the Tajik Bride. Won immediate acclaim for its haunting beauty. You say, "Say, when you saw the first impression, you think this painting can't be replaced. If it's replaced, it's simple. But it can't be replaced by adding a little. If you add a little, it's more. The image's captivating beauty derives from the tried and true aesthetics of all humanity. It's believed that humankind's earliest drawings were based on a triangle, due to the shape's stability and balance. The discovery appears to have etched itself in the psyche of some of the world's greatest artists: Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci, and Engra. The Tajik Bride painting is a triangle-based composition. The accomplished technique of classical oil painting have made this woman's dignity and charm eternal. To recount its story, we go back more than seven decades. In 1949. Jin Shangyi first came across a plaster bust. A relative had borrowed one and taught him how to draw with carbon, to prepare him for the entrance exam at the Beijing Fine Art Academy. This led to Jin Shangyi's first ever drawing, and this attempt opened his eyes to a distinctive quality of Eastern art. Eastern art, then, is a real expression of the object. Chinese art, then, is using the hands and the pencil to create the appearance. 所以它是两个体系，两种美感。Jin Shangyi aspired to be a portraitist since he began studying Western oil painting at the age of 15. His most desired goal was to create an oil painting that captures what he calls the spiritual essence of people from the East. He explored tirelessly, seeking a breakthrough.
the Pamir Mountains is known as the roof of the world. For one ethnic group here, the Highland Eagle is their totem. This is the Tajik people, denizens of the ice-covered land. In 1981, while traveling Xinjiang for inspiration, Jing Shangyi arrived in the land of the Tajiks. He was immediately drawn to the local residents. In the town streets and lanes, he made over a hundred sketches. One day, Jing passed by a wedding. The bride was clad in red and in the traditional headdress. Jing said her face expressed a blend of modesty an expectancy for a blissful future. In that moment, he realized that he had found the perfect subject matter to combine classicism and Chinese fine art. The joy overwhelmed him. Chinese artists describe the 1980s as a decade full of passion and romanticism. Experimentation and exploration reign supreme. But returning from Xinjiang, Jing Shangyi had found a different purpose. Rather than pursuing novelty, he cast his eyes to the most essential features that define the medium of oil painting. Several months later, Jing Shangyi traveled to the United States to visit relatives. He stayed there for a year visiting museums and galleries across the country. Close encounters with classical pieces allowed him to gain a deeper appreciation for oil painting. He studied harmony in compositions, nuances in brushwork, contrast, and sense of volume. Occasionally, an image of Tajik bride would cross his mind. Returning to China, Jing was eager to use the principles of classicism in realizing Chinese aesthetics. Here, the composition arose from geometric stability. The lighting came from the side. And in delineating the bride's face, Jing used a series of stable triangles. The brushstrokes meticulously created a sense of volume. The face was portrayed in its most elegant form, with marble-like skin tone and radiating luster. The precise and purposeful application of paint slowly and deliberately realizes the texture. The figure appears to emerge from the background with statuesque grace. A lady from snow-covered highlands, embodying femininity and a joyous sense of expectancy. 
，我用古典的办法画他这个新娘，在当时不是往前走，是往后走。Qing Shangyi used the most essential techniques in creating this image of high land resident, and reaffirmed the internal truth of Oriental aesthetics. Some four decades have passed. Through trends and fads, the artistic ideals on the Tajik bride canvas have stayed the same. It still sounds as old to human life. The brilliance of Chinese red communicates her epitome of bliss and happiness, and the elegant smile has never faded. <laughs>